spring training baseball coming your way. It's the San Francisco Giants and the Chicago Cubs. All right, ready to go here. And Lead digging off. in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. The second base, Tyro Estrada. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. One out. Austin Slater stands in. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, bases empty. And up next for the Giants, Jung Hoo Lee. The one two. Got him. Strikes out the side to be. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. He's got a nice, short, compact baseman. swing. Doesn't Nico. swing and miss a whole lot. Horner. Next one oh. misses, and it's two and one. Chris, one interesting okay. note Logan Webb is considered legally blind because of an astigmatism causes blurred vision. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be able to tell as dominant as he's been on the mound, that's for sure. Two and two. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Good sinker low in the no zone right through. there and produced yeah. exactly what he was looking for. Ball ah. on the ground, nice ground out. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground. Tosses to first and the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. Here's Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Now it's the DH, Christopher Morrell. And the right hander deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. All set for the start of the inning. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Mike. And he deals. Mike Yastrzemski, originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Swings and misses, struck him out. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Tap back up the middle. Toss to Mancini. And that quickly, two away. And up next for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. A switch hitter batting right. And that one is lifted in the air. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Bottom of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson. Dansby. Line drive, and that's just foul. Chris Logan Webb, a Northern California guy, but he grew up a fan of the Oakland A's. He grew up going to both teams' games, Giants and A's, but his dad was an Oakland fan, so he loved the Tim Hudson, Bobby Crosby, Stephen Vogt teams with the Oakland A's. Swing and a miss, and the count one and two. Well, I can relate being from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco, and that can help you become an A's fan a lot faster because it gets awfully chilly in San Fran. Already two out here in the home half of Yo. inning number two. Go. 
On the ground to third. Slings it across and Gomes. Welcome back. Now it's J.D. Davis. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting whoa, from the whoa. left side, same side he throws from. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one away. Michael Conforto will climb in. Ball to strike. And a swing and a miss. Top of the third, no score. He goes down looking. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park. And then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Trey Mancini now. The first base Trey Mancini. Kicks and fires. Line drive, base hit right field. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, safely into second. He's got a double. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. And now, Seiya Suzuki. Swing and a miss. And yeah, the count, one and two. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Nico Horner. Grounded out his first time up. Hit hard, base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. The left the left and half up to hit. The half daddy. Right-hander kicks deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bellinger up to hit. Reached on an infield single his first time. Bellinger. The pitch. Estrada. In plenty of time to first. And Bellin. Back here at the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Tyro Estrada to the plate. So they bring on the veteran, Kyle Hendricks. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to handle. Oh, yeah. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And here is that smash towards center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Jung Hoo Lee, the next giant to hit. Righty delivers. That's inside. Now two balls and a strike. Hendricks throws over. Estrada back in a dive. And the pitch. Rudder takes off. And it's fouled away. Estrada at first, one gone. Oh. 
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And the righty deals. And he walked him. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Just misses with that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. New arm for the Giants, Ross Stripling. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole, Christopher Morell. Struck out swinging his first time. Here's a 1 1. And that one in the air center field. Yastrzemski settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. Dansby Swanson stands in. He's 0 for 1. The 1 2. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Yastrzemski hauls it in. And there's two away. Now the third baseman Patrick Wisdom. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. Chase. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. On the mound now, Justin Steele. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's one and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And now the lefty swung on, belted. Way back there. And out of here. An absolute blast to left. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. And you've got to love the effort in left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it. Just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. It's J.D. Davis. The 1-1. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Got it by him for the K. And here is Michael Conforto. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Left-hand batter waits. Slider misses outside. Bounced up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws, and very nicely done for the out. Great read off the bat by the second baseman. He took a perfect angle to get to this ball, knowing that he was going to have to dive to cut it off. Gets up and completes the play from the outfield grass. What a great job of picking up his pitcher. Left-hand hitter waits and fouled off. You know, Chris Brandon Crawford made his big league debut May 27th, 2011. And Milwaukee and he hit a grand slam in his big league debut. No, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field and just now, has now, a now. nice swing pad. Stays in the zone a long time. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. One for two. Crawford off of first with two away. Got him swinging. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jacob Junis. Still a lot of game left, You're and this game could go either way. Now, so this is a big opportunity for him Number to get some important four. outs and try to help carry this lead into the later mm -hmm. innings. Jan Gomes waits. And it is two and one. Two balls, one straight. Knocks it down. Hey. 
Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Grounder might be two. Crawford tossed the second, and that's two. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. That one ripped. He's got it. And that is out number three. Top six. And now it's the Giants DH. Austin Slater. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs. Jamison Tyon. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. The 2-1. There's a swing and a miss. Three two now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Tyon with the move to first, and he's back safely. Fly ball center field. Bellinger makes the grab. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And here it comes. Strike okay. two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Slater leads off first with one away. Swing and a ball popped up. Swanson under this one. And there are two down. And digging in for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's two and two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hap moving under it. He's got it. And the inning is over. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Sean Jelly. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The next offering misses. Full count now. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one down the line. In the air to left center. Lee on the move to the alley. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Base knock center field. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. In the air, out towards left center. Lee grabs it on the run. And next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at bat alive. Swing and a miss. 
Gabe Kapler calling for a bat off the bench. Blake Sable, a critical at bat in this game for him. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Ryan Jensen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Hit weakly on the ground, gathers, and throws to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Good two-seam action right there, running away from the batter, rolled over it, got the ground out. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Now fly ball to right center. Bellinger drifts towards it. Makes the grab, two down. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Line drive. That's a base hit. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Brandon Crawford. Next offering is in for a strike. And now two and two. Next pitch is outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in both. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. Staying in the game on defense, Blake Sable. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So now a pinch hitter, number 40. The 1-1. One -one. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! He'll circle the bases, and they tie it up. It's 1-1. One -one. It's so tough to come in as a pinch hitter and have success. I mean, you really have to keep yourself locked into the game and ready at any time. So it's always impressive to me when someone jumps in there and hits it out. It's a huge lift for your ball club as well. Here's Jan Gomes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. You know, these Cubs, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Really nice oh, job of two-strike uh, hitting and that at bat. Uh, Just wait, a wait, solid wait. swing right there. Right. Caught it out front and ripped right. it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Pitch hitter coming on, Matt Mervis. A runner at first for him, nobody out. Here's a 1-1. And that one pulled foul. One two now. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Pitching change here, Johnny Brebbia. Now at the plate, trying to punt his way on. Down the line, and it's foul. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And up next for Chicago, Nico Horner, one for three. The one one. Line drive, that's a base hit. 
Thrill comes in quickly, holds that go-ahead run at third, and there's still one away. Oh, a big swing of the bat right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate, and they lead by two. Back-to-back -back base hits. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now here is Cody Bellinger. High fly ball, right field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they lead by three. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Lifted in the air, right center field. Conforto makes the grab, and that is that. So remaining in the game defensively, Matt Mervis. He pitch hit last half and now takes over at first. into the ball game, no, Nick no, no, Madrigal. No, no, no. He's the new third baseman. Madrigal. Anthony K comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. In the air, left side. Hap moving under it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. You're Gabe Kapler calling for a bat off the bench. Hit. David you VR. One are. out. The base is empty for him. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a pinch hit double. Everything came together for him. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Swing and a miss. Now three and two. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And there's two away. So now pinch hitter for the Giants. Casey Schmidt looking for a two-out hit with a runner in scoring position. They say it went. One ball, two tricks. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And that's too high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Staying in the game on defense, Luis Matos. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. A new arm into the game, the righty, Luke Jackson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And a pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Number 58, Bryce Johnson. At the play, number 40. He's already homered here in this one. Runner on the goal. Ball outside. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. Swanson leads off second with nobody out. Jackson picks over. Swanson back in on a dive.
two and one now. Line drive to short and caught. Now it's Jan Gomes. The catcher. Jan Gomes. Man at second. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Johnson settles under it. Makes the catch. Runner tagging for third, but just bluffing there. Hangs on at second with two away now. The first baseman, number 22, Matt Mervis. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a the ball. The 2-1. Next oh. offering is outside. Three and one. In the air out to center. Johnson under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Back You're now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Jock Peterson. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one fouled off. Two now. On the ground, right side. Mervis takes it to the bag. One up, one down. So now, Pitt Luciano looking to start something with one gone. The wind and the pitch. And a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the Giants down to their final out. And up next for the Giants, J.D. Davis. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Michael Fulmer. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And down on strikes he goes. That's the ball game. Definitely one of the easiest saves you'll ever see. He only needed two pitches to get this one. Can be efficient, can attack the hitter. That's what the manager wants to see. That's what his teammates want to see.